I would love huge success, and I don't want the other two. I don't got health for that shit. Frostmorn says three. Thank you, Frostmorn. Uh, you find a way out of the swamp after only a day of wandering. There we go. Okay. Lost in the desert. Jeez, I'm lost you everywhere. The secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. You find yourself lost and alone in the desert. Wish you'd left untouched. All right. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Can I get a fucking map? I can't. I can't. Um, well, uh, this is pretty much gonna be a rest in peace around here. It's one or four. A lot of people are saying four. Alright, a bunch of people are saying four. Please. God damn it! Two monster cards and one health pain card. Your prayers go unanswered and you are shot by an arrow looking up, you see bandits approaching you. Okay. One... okay. I have 11 health for this fight. Oh boy. Shit. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Let's see what I can do. Fuck! Okay, it's alright. I have heavy armor, so it doesn't do that much. Fuck! Damn it. Alright, I can't get on there. When he's like that, he goes like in a little rampage deal. There we go. Whew. Cracker Jacks. Alright. This is your one gang card. A map. I'm sure you're grateful Draw for that. Five. Ferry boat out of here, Emberton here, or Mr. Lionel. Mr. Lionel would be great, actually, right now. I gotta go ahead. I gotta go to him. I gotta use the, the, the... Okay. I'm on my way, Mr. Lionel. Don't leave without me, please. Okay. You. Hi, buddy. Alright. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at a local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with a wooden staff to get your attention and notice that he appears to be a goblin, poor disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand and my own creation. Alright. Um. I'm always like, not 100% sure how to go about him, but I know he's helpful if you do it right. What am I eating? I'm not eating anything right now. Hey, Dixon. What do you need? The goblin immediately begins to ponder around the person, prodding and poking at your weapons and apparel before making someone grab at something. He took one of my items. He then sits considering for a while before slapping the table. Ah, I know what you need. Mr. Lionel taps the table with the staff as some plump cakes appear in front of you. Remember, boy, when someone asks whether you'd like the cake or pie, tell them you want cake and pie. The other asks you, okay. Give me one food game card, please. Please, that'll be a good one. Three food. That's not that good. I, I pretty much spent three food to get here. And I lost an item for it. Fuck. Then, before you stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a 
pickled onion off your plate and sprints out of the tavern door. <sighs> that was not worth it at all. I, I wasted the food to get here for the food that I got, and I lost my what? What did I lose? I lost my armor. He took my armor from me. Great. It's still food? <laughs> Not really. That was- that was a- uh, that literally was just me going down there to lose my armor. Ah, well. It's okay. We still are not dead yet. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. Fire in the deep. A fortune teller. Veterans of the old wars spin the tales of large, powerful creatures built of rock and flame. Not all their attacks can be countered by mere mortals. Of course. I am different. In a cave system, dark and deep, genuine. you stumble upon some strange flaming creatures surrounding an old man. They turn to face you as the old man cringes in terror. Attack the creatures immediately or flee the area. I should probably just bounce. Usually I run the creatures, leaving the old man to his fate. Sorry, buddy. I can't take him. Well, oh, fuck you. Once more, you struggle to find your way. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna approach him and not accept his guidance this time. Refuse help. No need of my help? Well, good luck to you. He wanders away, seeming to melt into the mist. Dank misty forest that surrounds you is really quiet as you circle through. Time to find your way out of the swamp. Alright, 50% chance of fucking this up. Oh dear. Oh dear. I should have tried to help the old man. You're right. Hydro Jojo says three. Don't fuck me up, Hydro Jojo. Thank you, Hydro Jojo. Good man. Find a way out of the swamp. I'm not dead yet. I am out of food, though, and I'm getting ambushed. I am hungry, and I'm going to be fighting a six of skulls and another six of skulls. Twelve skeletons today. That is a rough day. Very rough day. Okay. All right. It's still not over yet, though. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on.
Sneak up and kill the guy who got away. Come on. All right. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. All right. Okay. I think it's one. I think it's one. I think we'll be okay with one. Yes. Okay. Three game cards. I need food. Forbidden arm is fine. Wait. That would be fine if I got some more health up. There we go, food. Come on, come on, come on. One more, more. Seven gold? That's pretty terrible, actually. <sighs> Alright, come on. Oh, this is the way out. Cap. Oh! Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, alright. Alright. Send ever deeper into the subterranean. So, what are you? So, for those who don't know, I helped him before with uh, an issue his crew was having with some evil curses. And then I fought Davy Jones, and I succeeded against Davy Jones, and now it gave me this court, this card as like the uh, the third in the quest chain. Let us stake a token on their foolish. While visiting a seaside village, you come across paths with Captain ba uh, Masanera, I believe, Bocanera. He has a few more scars than the last time you saw him. Our journeys have taken us to the edge of the abyss and back. I must tell you of all our adventures. You and Captain Bocanera, or Bocanera. Spend many hours swapping tales in a nearby tavern. In the morning, he offers you a share of his treasure and gratitude for your help in freeing his crew. Oh, you're such a nice guy. What is this? Whenever the player is healed, to the righteous, this this meets that's further justice, while not the too much. Receive only increased misery and despair. I'm Micah for Mage's Mask, because that one's stupid good. But what's this one do? Every third encounter does not consume food. Press B to... Okay. That's okay. But Mage's Mask gives a really good shield. Yeah, the shield is just too good to not have. Really? Is that what you're going to do? I've never forgotten the aid you gave me and my crew was lost. I saved this fine armor just for you. Draw one armor card. This card token is not yours. Nice. So he was just all all a good card. Nice. Holy shit, there's like no armor cards. <laughs> Chains of Rage, okay. During combat strikes, sustained from bows and wands have a chance to restore your cooldowns. Alright, that's... That's better than what I have, at least. You have earned this. Whew, alright. Now I can go buy food here, and sell some of the stuff I just got. We'll be good here, alright. And shops sell food at a decent price, too. Finally, an opportunity to eat. Yeah, finally. We got it here. We got it here. So, sell items. Sell forbidden armor. Actually, which one sells more? Yeah, forbidden armor. Okay. Forbidden armor is nice. It's just I need I need money. <laughs> Alright, so 28 gold. How much can I get here? 30. Fuck. All right. That's fine. I will sell the other the last one then. Crown of hindsight. There we go. So now we'll have 10 food. There we go. Alright. Yeah, see, their food's pretty decently priced. Okay. Okay. So now... Heal wounds. Don't have any money for it. And no money for any of this stuff, too. Mortal Whimsy. Yeah, the properties of another weapon. Okay. This one. Every third blow from Undead reflects its... Is reflected back against them. Alright. Does fire damage done? Yeah, okay. Alright, can't afford any of that though. So, we got food now. There's a dog. That's not my dog. It's the in game dog, guys. There's a dog in that area. Alright. We're doing a little bit better here. That was the game. Bound once more, seeking the heart. Oh my. Alright. Go. We'll, we'll, go the, we'll go the same route. Another shop. I have no money for you though. Oh, I always lose this. All right, we're gonna beat it this time. Wager on the outcome. Fuck. I do not think you have what it takes. One day, just as dusk gathers, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between the tents and stalls that were once brightly colored, but now are faded and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys, past wonders of amazement, seeming almost dazed. 
There is something about the place that dulls your senses, and for a while, you forget your quest. You forget even the path brought you to this place. Follow me. I have no idea. Fuck. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with one. One apparently has huge success according to a few people. The Immortal swears it's one. The Immortal, if this is not huge success, you're dead to me. Black cat darts out and weaves between your legs. Distracted, you take a wrong turn and wander down a darkened alley. Mysteries of the carnival await you. Two. Fuck! You feel parched and decide to enter one of the local taverns. The barkeeper gestures for you to sit down and you do so, with a vague sense of unease. The drink is placed in front of you and you pick it up, then hesitate. The barkeep moves away to other customers, but seems to be watching you from the corner of his eye. You drink the drink back down. Suddenly the door slams shut and the patrons all rise from their places and turn to face you. The dealer draws you two monster cards. God damn, man. I have yet to... How am I ever gonna beat the fucking Dark Carnival card? I have yet to even get close, I think. Fuck. I suck at that card. That card is such an asshole. Alright. I should be okay, though. Mage is already dead? Nice. Alright, those guys weren't too bad at all. Those guys were simple. Fuck. Alright. The sound of battle still rings in your ears as you search the bodies you exit the tavern on leaving this accursed town. One game card. 30 gold though! I'll take that. Sometime later you find yourself standing at the edge of the forest, the sound of the crowd behind you. Day is just dawning, but which day? Looking back you see the ruined buildings of a country town long ago abandoned. See? See? In case you didn't know, or you weren't here before, you have no knowledge of that card, that shit's spirited away. That's fucking spirited away right there, that's fucking awesome to me. Tavern wager. What tales do you tell these feeble sons? You find yourself the same in a ones I your past. spinning tales of your adventures to a group of chunks. A bearded old soldier scoffs at your tales and challenges you to an arm wrestle. Put your helmet against this. No, I'm not waging my helmet. Fuck that. Twenty gold. I'll wage your twenty gold. That's fine. All right, fifty percent chance of getting this. Come on, baby. Come on. Come Choose on, baby. These options. Come on, baby. Cry if a viewer gets a fail, it's 10 minutes. If it's a huge failure, it's an hour. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's actually a really cool idea. I don't know if it, uh, an hour is a good decision, though. Maybe like 20 minutes. Alright. Zaborio says two. Zaborio, come on. Thank you, Zaborio. Appreciate it. 
You win. The old soldier generally turns out his pockets. I seem to misplace my 20 gold, but let's do instead. One game card. 20 f <laughs> I, I don't know where my 20 gold is. Yeah, 25 though. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that's so much nicer. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go back, actually. And pick up some mana. Food. From that good merchant. Alright, we're doing really good with money now. Jesus. I'm surprised we're still doing good, man. Like, you can come back in this game. It's really nice. Another 10 gold, or 10 food. Um, I think 13 should get me by. Let me see what items I can get. Can't afford any, never mind. I could sell items though, I think I got something. I do not, never mind. Well, do we want to spend the rest of my gold? I think I will. Food has always been the bane of me. It might not be a good decision, but... How much is this game? It's like 20 or 25 bucks. It's on sale right now, to my knowledge, on Steam. Game math right there. I don't know if... I, I'm just I'm just gonna go forward. I don't know what those other three cards were. She's but. out there now. Waiting for you. Oh, is this the final floor? Noble Trader. I just spent all this my gold! Will unlock more cards I never have gold when I encounter you! And I just spent all my gold! Fuck! The noble woman trader frig poaches out cherry as you walk the streets of Stigel. He notices you and comes to- wait, actually, he's actually approaching me? Oh! Oh, I don't need gold for him! Oh! Okay. Sick. I wish to purchase that armor. He's a similar build and enjoys a good Okay, never mind. I I could have sworn I needed gold for him to actually think I was worthy of talking to, but apparently he just wants to buy my armor. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Then alone waits patiently as you take off your armor and then hands it in your hand it to him. You should appreciate this. Um after I have had it cleaned, of course. Toga is now yours. Enjoy your newfound wealth. The old one rides away. The other draws you four gold gang cards. Sick. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Okay. All right, that's cool. We finally got that token done. God damn, that took so long to actually get that one. My armor itself wasn't that good. It was it was pretty weak shit. It was like berserker armor, I think. I don't even like berserker armor. Fuck you! All right, no, I have, I have the money for it. I have the money for it. All around, an unenviable situation. Wait, what? As you approach, you make the figure of the cloak man. He suddenly leaps forward. The other men stream. Oh, it's a chance! I thought it was always gonna be the guy to lead you out. Okay. So it's a chance of it being either a guy that's gonna help you or monsters. Okay. Fair enough. <sighs> this boss is uh. The first one on the final row. I don't remember what her name is, though. I think it's a female, though. Okay. Full health, though. I got a good amount of food. A lot of gold. I should be fine. Scales? It, it, it might be. I've yet to see any uh, scalies though. I mean, scalies is a furry type of thing. Whatever. Max health, five. All right, nice. The dank, misty forest that surrounds you is really quiet as you struggle through the flooded waters to find a way out. 
All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay. I need success. I would like huge success, though. For the love of fucking God, though. Please, don't give me a failure. Or a huge failure. Three? A lot of people are saying three. Lenny has arrived. I'm gonna go with you. It's on your it's on your head, okay? Thank you, Lenny. You find a way out of the swamp. Okay. I'm gonna go for the middle. Traveling healer. Alright. I can buy a blessing with you, I think. Pretty sure you sell blessings. I have the money for him too, so. Come on, baby. What do you got? Uh no, you do not. You sell food though. I don't really need food. I have 16 food. That should be fine. Uh, remove curses? 400 though, I can't remove that. And nothing else I really... Okay. We're good then. Never mind. But, it's in the middle, so it's really easy to uh, get to it if I needed to it. If it's saying I'm playing Xenoblade, it's bullshit because I swear to god it says Xenoblade, or it says Hannah Fan on my end. Twitch is just dumb sometimes. Alone. There's a token in it for you if you win. Oh, I can actually finally do this one. In a busy market town, you're approached by a shopkeeper on the verge of losing a store. If you loan me the gold I need to save my store, I'll repay you one day and with interest. There you go, pal. The shopkeeper gratefully accepts your gold, saying you won't regret this. There we go. Gold payback. After 10 steps, Useful. the player draws three gold cards. Well, it's not really helpful right here, but. Thank you for the token, I guess. Queen of Scales, right here! A queen of power and grace. Majestic Queen of Scales spits powerful fireballs in her fire and her totem prevents her death of any of her children. Alright. Let's do this. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Four scales with her, alright. So I gotta kill the totem. Otherwise, she's not gonna have her other guys die. Oh, she is weird looking. He looks like a character from the dinosaurs. There we go. It's down. Nice. Shield up, I can pretty much just do whatever I want now. I don't know why, but I thought L1 was gonna be my actual reflect button. There we go. There we go. That's just her. You wanna do some? You wanna do some about this? Dummy. You wanna do it again? I'll do this all day. Ah, you're dumb. That's a lot of damage, though. Oh my god. I'm actually... That actually does a lot of damage. I didn't realize. I was getting cocky. There we go. I almost died there. <laughs> oh, man. I... Alright. We got through, though. We got through. Don't get cocky. That could have been really bad. You've destroyed something priceless, my friend. 